it's Jesse here. I'm back with my weekly grocery haul. I'm doing it a little bit differently this week because we are about to get a really bad storm and the place that I typically film my grocery hauls in the kitchen is dark as can be. Plus I've got my helper here so I'm just going to unbag things and share them with you and he's going to put them away. So first I'll share with you what I picked up at Walmart. We got a lot of Thanksgiving food this week. We're prepping for Thanksgiving next week so got quite a bit to share with you. First thing is this Walmart bread loaf. I actually picked that up to go with our spaghetti tonight. I really love their bread loaves. This particular one is French bread. Can't do Thanksgiving without pie. We do Thanksgiving just for the four of us, my husband and I and our two sons plus my mother-in-law. So I don't really do a lot of things from scratch anymore. I used to cook for sometimes up to 15 people and I would do everything from scratch and it would be a three day production, but it's just us now. We've lost some family members and whatnot. So I go pretty simple. So I don't even bake the pies from scratch. I buy Sara Lee, they were on sale and they're delicious. So I got a pumpkin. As well as a Dutch apple pie, which is my personal favorite. Apple pie and pumpkin pie are my faves. I picked up some sour cream and onion potato chips. Those are to go with the bratwurst that we're going to have later on this week for dinner. <laughs> I also got the brown and served dinner rolls. These are for Thanksgiving dinner as well. Those could go in the freezer. We make spinach dip for appetizers on Thanksgiving, so I had to get the Hidden Valley Ranch dip packet. Um, and of course the chopped spinach for that spinach dip. We just finished up our box of hot chocolate, so I had to pick up a new one. This is the Swiss Miss Rich Chocolate. That's my boys' personal favorite. picked up some eggnog for my husband. He requested this. I got the Southern Comfort kind this time. This is non-alcoholic, you guys, but um, this was the cheapest one that they had. I had one in my cart that was like $4.50, and this is only $2.50, so hopefully my husband will like this. And my son says if he doesn't, I will drink it. Okay, what else we got from Walmart here? I got some whipped topping for our pies. And this, I absolutely love this, and it seems like it only comes out around the holidays. This is the Canada Dry, Canada Dry Diet Cranberry Ginger Ale, and this stuff is delicious. I agree. And my son agrees. You can talk loud, honey. It's okay. <laughs> uh, also, for appetizers on Thanksgiving, we do a pickle and olive tray, and um, we went to Aldi first, and they didn't have sweet gherkins, so I picked up the sweet pickles from Walmart and the Great Value brand. We are moving away from using K-Cups, so I bought a can of our favorite Folgers coffee. Um, we've just been going through a lot of K-Cups, and it's kind of wasteful, and they're kind of expensive, so we just decided to buy a can of Folgers this time. And my children requested this. This is Sparkling Strawberry Lemonade, and they love this. And my dog apparently wants to be right in the middle of everything. Patches! She needs a haircut. You can't even see her eyes, but there she is. Okay. I think that was everything from Walmart. Moving on to Aldi, I got the Big Daddy. We got a Butterball fully cooked smoked turkey this year. Patches, go on. I never buy these, um, or we've never had a smoked turkey before, but my husband every year says, we should get a smoked turkey. So finally this year, I decided just to go for it. So we did. This is a 11 pound smoked turkey, and I cannot wait to see how we like this. Oh, deep freezer. Deep freezer, yes. Whoa. There's my helper. So, what else did we get from Aldi? We picked up some salted butter. Mm -hmm. 
some sour cream for that spinach dip. Uh, we were out of lunch meat, so I grabbed some Black Forest ham, as well as some mild cheddar cheese. Picked up a couple of cans of yams. These are cut sweet potatoes in syrup. Those are for Thanksgiving. There's the other can there. Also grabbed a can of cranberry sauce. Told you get oh a uh, some turkey gravy. And I got two of those as well. There's the second one. Told you guys about my pickle and olive tray, so we got the kosher baby dills. We got some Spanish olives. And we also got some pitted black olives. Okay, also from Aldi, we picked up some more oranges. My kids chewed through all of the ones I bought last week and loved them and asked for some more. So I got some oranges and some onions. We were all out of onions. I also picked up some of this chicken flavored ramen noodles. Um, I bought beef the last time that I bought these and this was like a month and a half or two months ago. And the only one that really enjoyed the beef ones were my oldest son. So I went back to chicken flavor. We eat these just um, for lunches when the kids are home or a quick snack. They're not the greatest for you, but they're super cheap. So got those. As far as snacks, I bought a giant thing of holiday shaped pretzels. And I'm sure my kids will appreciate those. <clears throat> I got the weekly eggs and milk. I also got an extra dozen eggs because we're going to do deviled eggs to, um, next week for Thanksgiving. And a case of water that I get every other week. Also bought a can of cheddar cheese Pringles for my son since he was such a big helper. Okay. Got a loaf of bread. I got some wide egg noodles because every year after Thanksgiving I make a turkey noodle soup and I needed egg noodles for that. Um, got these cheese baked crackers my kids love so much. Some mini marshmallows. These are for the sweet potatoes for Thanksgiving. A couple of boxes of the turkey, turkey stuffing mix. Like I said, I used to go all out and make this from scratch. Um, it was my mom's recipe and everybody absolutely loves it, but it's just too much of an overtaking for, um, you know, just five people. That recipe I make in a huge batch and we would just have like leftovers for weeks. So I just bought this. My family likes this too. They don't complain about me cutting a few corners. I'm going to be running around like a chicken with her head cut off on Thanksgiving as it is. Turkey with his head cut off. A turkey with his head cut off. Nice. Um, and lastly from Aldi, I picked up the Honey Nut Crispy Oats. Wanted to try a different kind of cereal this week instead of our usual rice squares. Mama? Yes. Can we have tacos for next year Thanksgiving? No. <laughs> And the last place that I went since it's sitting right here is Tractor Supply Company where I got my chinchillas food. So we picked him up this um, Timothy Hay from Dumore, I think. Um, from, yeah. As well as the chinchilla food from them. We get it at Tractor Supply relatively affordably and our chinchilla loves it. So there's that. The last thing that I picked up today was... These little treats for him as well. These are rice pops from Critterware. So that's it for my grocery haul this week. A few little bonus items in there with the chinchilla stuff. But um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it and liked seeing the items that I picked up for our Thanksgiving dinner. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Um, subscribe. I do a grocery haul every week. So if you like videos like this, you'll be, uh, you would do well to subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye, everyone. Bye.